हे गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल आई एफ फोर पॉइंट टू दिस इज अजय so today we will be looking about the multiprocessor from the fixed resource so you can see this is the multiprocessor so the multiprocessor the word itself states that it is going to process a single item multiple times so we might have process 1 process 2 process 3 and process 4 performed on the single item so it is the higher version of the processor which we have already seen so the multiprocessor will have its own multiprocessor properties window so you can see here it is present rest properties will be same as like another fixed resources so we are going to have here processes to be defined so we have we can define process 1 process 2 and if you want to add one more process we'll click on this plus we will have third process coming in named process 3 so for that each process we need to apply the process timings we can apply the number of operators which will be performing the processing on the run multi multi processor we can also apply the operators for up, applying the operators we have all these uh, methods to be applied which we already seen in the cube video then in the process time we can apply all these properties depending on our requirement which we have already seen in detail for sources so we'll just apply this multi processor we'll check out how this feature works So what we are going to do is we are going to apply the output of the Q2 to the multi processor, and we are going to process these all the processes for the items. So for process two, we will have two minutes. Process two will have eight minutes, and process three we will have ten minutes. So basically, in total, we are going to have twenty seconds of cycle time. That is process time. so i will reset and i'll run so this is a very basic multi processor you see so whenever the out uh, queue comes so the part comes on the queue on the processor the maximum stay time needs to be equal to the cycle time so we are going to have this we have this operator here and we are going to have the processor done so i'll stop this and you can see this first box is out from the multi processor and you can see that the stay time was 20 seconds and that is absolutely correct what we have done so the process 1 2 and 3 are been performed because process 1 was 2 seconds process 2 was 8 second process 3 was 10 seconds so 10 plus 10 20 seconds to be applied on an item to complete multi processing on the multi processor so this is how we are going to use this we can also apply operators here so say i am putting four operators i'll put a dispatcher here i'll reset the model i'll connect the operators so see we have these operators so i am connecting these operators to the uh, dispatcher we'll check whether this is working now because center connection operator ah uh, center connection object is a dispatcher itself so you can see all these four operators are utilized for performing the task on the multi processor they are into the processing and the operators are into utilization i will again reset the model and i will change this quantity to say 2 and i'll reset and run so now we need to have two operators going to the processor that is multi processor for processing so yes that's there you can see we have only two operators going to the multi processor for processing whereas rest two operators are on the idle stage we are also having this priority and preemption for all another fixed resources 
wherever we are going to use the operators as a operators or task executors so what this priority means so the priority is given to the task sequence which has been allotted to the task executor so say for example there are two machines we are having here separator and uh, the multiprocessor and we are going to give a priority task on the same operator as one for the separator and zero for the multiprocessor so what does this mean is the priority is higher for the separator as compared to multiprocessor because separator we have one and multiprocessor we have zero so based on the priority we need to assign preemption now what is preemption preemption is basically the decision which needs to be taken place by the operator so no preempt that means abortion or you can say no preempt is the preemption is basically shifting from one task to another task so for example i am using this single operator to transfer the material from the separator 1 to q and the multiprocessor to q and the priority is one for separator that means if i am going to use uh, no preempt that means the operator is not going to look for the priority even if we are assigning a priority the operator will not change or alter its own task sequence but if you are going to preempt only is basically it will only change the current task it will go to the separator it will do that uh, basically what does it mean is it will complete the process multiprocessor task if it is ongoing so if he has the part of multiprocessor to be loaded out it will complete that first then go to the separator and then perform this is preempt only then we have preempt aborting active so if this operator has a part in his hand which needs to be supplied to the q3 and the moment at that moment only we get a signal from the separator with priority 1 to unload then the operator will abort this active task which needs to be sent it to the q3 and it will go to the separator 2 it will first unload the part from the separator to the q2 and then it will perform his remaining operation of multiprocessor to unload to the q3 that is preempt aborting active and the last option of preempt about all is if the operator has the task sequence of say 3 to 4 task sequence he has pending like he need to work on the multiprocessor 1 multiprocessor 2 3 4 the task are already assigned that he will go on processor 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 and then whatever new task comes he is going to put that in but the moment he was working on the multiprocessor 1 he gets the priority one task from the separator to unload to the q2 then the operator if he is having this preempt aborting all function for the task executor active what he will do is he will delete all this task sequences from his history so what he will do is multiprocessor 1 2 3 4 whatever task he has received those task will be deleted and he will perform the separator task and this deleted task needs to be taken care of some another time but if you want to perform this task along with completing this task then you can go with this preempt only if you want to do very immediate that you need to abort the active you need to first serve separator then you can do your task sequences into the route then you can select preempt aborting active and you can go ahead so basically these uh, features are for task executors to uh, get their unique logic which is uh, present on the plant that is the real time scenarios and real time cases which happens on the line you can uh, very easily uh, create those uh, by changing this priorities and preemptions here so we have done with the multiprocessor so this is a multi this is all about multiprocessor we have seen how to add the processors how to assign the operators how to assign the cycle times and how to uh, what are priorities and preemptions here so this is in detail a line we have created uh, under the flexi model to understand the in detail combiner separator multiprocessor and so on thanks for watching and the next video we will be looking the basics of and in detail about basic fr